in this last part let's do verification okay we configure each and everything so let's do verification before verification what i need to do i need to change the default page you know default page here is so what i done i search uh, w3 schools this is a html default page i can copy this one so i copy to my notepad and i say this is server 3 this is the title and this is server 3 and this the uh, header one so i need to copy this one okay and so that i can recognize the server okay so let's go to server one and default page will be here in my case i'm using docker if you are using something else so you can do uh, that one and control a and control v okay so this is server one change them to server one and this is server one okay and control s save this one so server one page i change the default one this is done now let's go to server two do the same on desktop go to ww page html right click open in uh, any editor and do the same control a control v and this is two and this is two control s done and done this one third server and uh, i already done this one so in html and this is uh, index.html so i already changed them to a uh, server 3 this is the template i am using just for test purpose so that we know that i am in server 1 either in server 2 or in server 3 so this the let me open and show you this this server 3 so i change these three server okay now this is server 3 okay done so this is the first step i need to change the default pages let me minimize this one okay and now let's go to now it's green okay so sir uh, this these are my three nodes server 1 server 2 server 3 1.1 1.2 1.3 then i create a pool in last video uh, this is a pool and uh, HTTP pool and three members are there. Then I create a virtual server. Okay, with 1.100. It's using 80. Okay, so now let's do testing. But before test, go to statistics. And let's go to local traffic. And let's check out uh, pool. Either instead of pool, we can test by nodes. So let's see if there is a node. Where is here is? So I have three nodes and no traffic is coming yet. Okay. So what I need to do, I need to go to the outside client and I need to type this virtual IP in the browser. So the request will come to uh, my gateway, which is a ISP router. In real world, there will be net, pet, and all those stuffs, you know. And also, it will be a public IP. Either it will be a translated IP. There will be destination net. Maybe instead of ISP, there will be a firewall. In next video, I will show you uh, as a firewall. I will replace ISP with firewall. Okay, I will show you in that type. And also, maybe if I find a time, I will show you in real world. Okay right now i don't need uh, because this isp has two interfaces which we configure nothing is configured in real world there will be net pet and destination net port forwarding and those things will be a uh, configure so i need to go to client and the client what i need to do i need to open a browser 192.168.1.100 this is our virtual server ip yeah, which we create okay the one which they will get hits 1.100 so i need to type that ip and enter okay so now i'm in server 2 so if i go back and go to statistics and local traffic let's go to nodes sorry let's go to nodes so you see the traffic is hit by server 2 it's here one hits and let's do it again so now it's server 3 so if i go back and refresh so now server 3 is hit but there is no hit on server 1 and let's do it again so this is server 1 this time and if i refresh so you see all three server because we are using round robin uh, 
load balancing method you know from ltm yeah because i skip uh, i skip many thing because you already know all these stuffs so now uh, heads are coming on all three server you can see it's equally because of round robin okay and this the way to test them so i'm in server one server two server three you can use uh, that application which i use in ltm to send many requests but anyway it's clear to you so let me minimize so from outside so the, from outside they had the virtual ip and it came here then it's there even though it's directly here and their gateway is isp this one keep in mind so this sort of deployment is called one arm deployment and most of the time you will see in real world okay and real i recently deploy but it was a bit different uh, maybe i will uh, create a video on that one as well uh, those three server was uh, the, uh, basically there were four server four server were in different vlan because all these are in one vlan but it can be on different vlan maybe uh, 10 this can be 20 this can be 30 then what we will do so uh, we can see that scenario as well uh, in real world so you can uh, see such type of deployment this is called one arm deployment which we check only one arm is in use uh, means one interface so that's why it's called one arm deployment and then we check from outside the heads uh, i told you there are many things which is missing uh, like maybe in real world there will be net pair destination net maybe there will be a firewall maybe there is a router and router and then there is a firewall so so many things can be changed but at least you get the idea okay